<laughs> Hello, bitches. <laughs> that way you get better language. No. <laughs> Anyways, how is everyone? Uh, we are here to do more to SAP content farm shit. First SP of the night is SCP-2057, a.k.a. You Are What You Eat. And they actually used the nickname in their video title, except they put an emoji of a chicken next to the title. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess they like cocks. Right. Bad girl. Bad. <laughs> You're right, sometimes I can't be a bad girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Are we ready? As ready as I'll ever be. Right. I love reading SCPs with you, but I know what happens after. <laughs> Anyways, item SCB-2057, object class, safe. Special containment procedures. Outside of scheduled experiments, instances of SCP-2057 are to be stored in a standard large vacuum storage locker in containment area 27 at the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Due to limited supply, experiment proposals need to be approved by at least two personnel with 2-1103 clearance and submitted by Dr. Applegate. Description. SCB-2057 is a set of 92 318 milliliter cans of condensed chicken, uh, chicken noodle soup. Ooh. All instances of 2057 have brightly colored labels bearing images of dancing vegetables, noodles, and cartoon chicken. Each label bears the descript Dr. Winter Team is Ultra Delicious Chicken Noodle Soup for Kids. Trademark. Uh. The lid of each can is fitted with an easy open pull top. Each can label has a set of nutrition values, ingredients, and instructions. Nutrition facts. Serving size 1 can. Servings per container. One. Contents. Calories. 95 calories. Test results. Consistent of 95 calories. Fat. 3.17 grams. Higher than label states at 4.23 grams. Carbohydrates. 2.29 grams. Consistent at 2.29 grams. Protein. 13.48 grams. Higher than label states at 15.25 grams. Vitamin W, trademark. Compound unknown to science at foundation. Further research is and testing required. Which is at 2 grams. Unknown compound consistent at 2 grams. Mother's love, 10 grams. Not identifiable or measurable. Alright, ingredients stated on, lip, on the label. Ingredients. Ultra, ultra delicious chicken stock, trademark. Enriched chicken egg noodles, finest cooked chicken breast, farm fresh carrots, crispy crunchy celery, sweet Vendelia onions, no paint Fidelia. thinner. Uh, Fidelia. No paint thinner. <laughs> fresh mountain spring water. Vitamin W, trademark, contains less than 2% of the following ingredients, a pinch of salt, a smidgen of chicken fat, sprinkle of spice extracted from rare plants, a dash of high-quality unicorn tears. I'd like to comment that on most, like, I know, like, Wondertainment, like, kind of skips normal, but he just made it at least look a little more normal by... Describing what's in the chicken stuff, which is what most cans do, but this is wonderpainment, so the fact that it was that normal is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Instructions stated on label. Instructions for heating. 
Hey kids, feeling sicky, eggy, or downright yucky? Just pop open a can of Dr. Warner Demon's Ultra Delicious Chicken Noodle Soup for kids. Trademark. Place contents on the can in a medium-sized soup pot. In a can of water, stir and heat. Watch as the fun begins. Eat hearty and you'll feel better and ready to play with Dr. Warner Demon toys in no time. Please don't, children. Don't do either. Yeah. On the lower back of each label is the following warning in fine print. Dr. Warner Timmons Ultra Delicious Chicken Noodle Soup for Kids Trademark. It's intended to be eaten while it is hot and make it feel better in no time at all. Do not to consume after it has become cold. Do not reheat. By purchasing for Dr. Warner Entertainment, you will agree not to hold Dr. Warner Entertainment or any of Dr. Warner Entertainment's affiliates accountable for injuries or damages incurred by your product. Thank you for purchasing from Dr. Warner Entertainment. I'd like to say it's a little suspicious they don't, don't want you to eat it while cold. <laughs> yeah. Open an instance of... Oh. Sorry. Well, oh, that's fine. I was just thinking, most kids, like, eat part of it when it's warm and part of it when it's cooled down. So, that's oh, well. keep in mind. <laughs> Opening an instance of 2057 reveals that it is filled with condensed chicken broth and an egg-shaped mass made of 57 grams of egg noodles. Upon adding water and heating to 70 degrees Celsius, the egg hatches, revealing a small juvenile domesticated chicken. Composed entirely of egg noodles, carrot, celery, onion, and cooked chicken breasts. Known from this point as 2057-1, as the breath continues to heat, the instance of 2057-1 will begin to move, vocalize, and chirps, and consume the broth in which it is hatched. It will grow directly in proportion to the amount of broth consumed, reaching full size at 85 grams, or simply a small adult domesticated chicken. While the temperature is between 35 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius, Dash 1 functions as if it's alive, behaving similarly to normal domesticated chickens. Oh, hold on. And I'm back. Welcome back. Anyways. Uh, when dissected, dash one is shown to be composed entirely of edible ingredients. Bones constructed of celery and onion. Muscles constructed of cooked chicken breast. Feathers constructed of egg noodles. Beak and legs construct constructed of carrots and blood consistent with chicken broth. Dash one will continue to move, vocalize, and cackles, and twitch as if it's being dissected, dissected or consumed. When the temperature of dash one falls below 35 degrees Celsius, the instance ceases movement, falling over into the remaining broth, and quickly collapses into chicken noodle soup, typically ranging in temperature from 20 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius. Below 20 degrees Celsius, dash one becomes congealed in gelatinous. Test results at 35 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius. When eaten at 35 degrees Celsius to 70 degrees Celsius, test subjects describe the taste of Dash 1 to be excellent, delicious, and homey. Test subjects also report feeling a feeling of physical well-being after consuming Dash 1, despite showing apprehension of at eating a live meal. 81% of subjects experience psychological trauma associated with losing a beloved pet after consuming the instance. Test subjects suffered from illnesses such as influenza, measles, and common cold reported immediate alleviation of the 
symptoms upon consuming instances of Dash 1 at temperatures between 35 degrees Celsius and 70 degrees Celsius. Improvement included drop in high fever, relief from aches and pains, cessation of cough and congestion, and improved overall health. Strong aversion to poultry-based products reported in 87% of test subjects. Test results at 10 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius. Test subjects consuming Nash 1 at temperatures between 10 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees Celsius reported the taste as bland, disgusting, and repulsive. 67% of test subjects reported severe cramping, chills, and diarrhea after consuming cold Dash 1. 62% of test subjects reported making involuntarily collecting sounds and aversion to poultry based products. Test subjects suffering from illnesses such as influenza, measles, and common cold reported immediate complications of their symptoms upon consuming instances of Dash 1 at temperatures between 10 degrees Celsius and 34 degrees Celsius. Complications included development of pin feathers among the forearms, excess loose skin growth and on the crown of the head and under the chin, and an, an extreme change in gait when walking. 93% of the subjects experienced vivid hallucinations and sensations of being hung upside down by their ankles. Reheating test results. Test 234. Reheating SCP-2057-1 on October redacted. Subject D-4572. Procedure D-4572 is to reheat 2057-1 in a microwave on high for 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Then the consume reheated instance. He is instructed to report his experience says to the camera provided. Result. Test time 0. D-45782 reheated the instance of Dash 1 as instructed during the two and a half minutes. Deep vocalizations were heard from the microwave. At 2 minutes 32 seconds, D-45782 Alright, 782 observes that the instance in the bowl still looks flatness and texture with a slight black burn areas near the edges. At 2 minutes 55 seconds, D-4587-2 takes three bites and comments about being cold in the middle and hot in the edges. The subject describes the taste as horrifying and spits the instance onto the floor. The subject refuses to continue consuming the instance. At 17 minutes 35 seconds, within 15 minutes of taste and reheated instance of Dash 1, D-4587-2 begins speaking angrily at the camera at a second time, the words interspersed with vocalizations similar to stress, clucks, and cackles. At 17 minutes 40 seconds, speech becomes increasingly incoherent, D-4587-2 begins scratching at his arms until they bleed. Loose skin is forming under the subject's ne neck and on top of the head. At 17 minutes 46 seconds, D-45 ASN2 lost all ca ca capability of speech. Large white pin feathers cover both of the subject's arms. Smaller feathers have begun sprouting from the subject's face. At 18 minutes 2 seconds, deterioration of D-45872's mental state has progressed in to attempt the destruction of objects within the testing room. Such a has rapidly grown feathers covering 67% of his skin, with severe physical change to his facial area, having an elongated, hardened nasal area and lower jaw. The upper lip has receded completely into the nasal cavity. At 18 minutes 7 seconds, D-4587-2 expires. Analysis. Autopsy revealed D 45782's cause of death was due to extreme sudden psycho. Cycle, oh no, physical. I don't know why I said cycle. Physical change of internal organs resulting in shock and cardiac arrest.
93% of such a skin was covered in feathers. Physical changes in the face resulted in a beak-like alteration of the nose and mouth, loose skin under the neck, and on top of the head resemble a waddle and comb. Subject's lower legs are found to be covered in thick scaly skin, with the toes of a subject's feet ending in small rounded claws. The subject, an instance of Dash 1, were incinerated after testing an autopsy. Addendum SCB-2057 was recovered during a raid at, on a Marshall Carter in Dark Office in Redacted, New York. Along with 16 other items, it was found in a shipping crate with indications of having been recently delivered by the Federal Postal Service with an invalid return address. The shipping crate was estimated to hold 144 instances of 2057. 103 instances of 2057 were recovered at this front scene. The location of the remaining 41 instances of 2057 is unknown. But under investigation after the discovery of a letter written to an associate employed at the Marshall Carter Dark Office, tracing the letter to a physical address has proven unsuccessful to date. Dear Cyrus, what Maria has told me of the unfortunate circumstances that has befallen your children. I had hoped to hear about the, the improvement of their condition soon. As a grandmother, godfather, I am extremely distressed to hear this. I have experienced a child suffering from measles myself. I know how terrifying it can be when it seems as if they're getting worse. Recently, we received a shipment of something that I hope I, that I hope can help your family. There is a crate in the storage area marked from one entertainment discontinued item. It will not be here long, as it goes to auction next week. I will leave a key out of the photo of your family <laughs> on your desk. Follow your instructions exactly. Do not, under any circumstances, do anything other do anything different than what is directed on the can. I will show this message as soon as possible. I do not want any of this to come back on us. Be careful, my friend. Williams. And that's it. That is a dark SCP. Yep. I knew it was suspicious as soon as I read the only eat when heated thing because that's not realistic even slightly. I just saw the thumbnail. Oh no. Four. Yep. Make sure I do the right person. I did. Sh shut up, video. They did. Let me get some water very quick. Okay. I look at um, porn on Twitter while you do that. Let's hope they at least change not that much. All right. Well, they do show Marshall Carter in dark. Are we ready? Yeah. All right. In three, two, one. The sign above the warehouse wouldn't mean anything to a casual observer. MCND, to those informed of the more nefarious side of the underground market, they knew well 
This was a Marshall, Carter, and Dark warehouse. That alone was enough to make most turn back. The two men, however, weren't the brightest or the most informed thieves on the dark web. Their client had appeared desperate and emotional, the best bargaining chip. They had squeezed out as much as they could from him. All that remained now was a little bit of breaking and entering. Nothing. I just want to say one thing. Uh, you never want to steal from Marshall Carter in Dark. Yeah. Like, there are some SCPs who tried getting away with stealing and were turned into SCP items and sold. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to fuck with them. <laughs> right? I will gently say this. There will always be people as stupid as them. Oh god, these guys are neat. Yep, these guys again, Karen. There will always be people as stupid as these two. Yep, and the foundation has to clean up their mess. <laughs> Valid point. they hadn't done dozens of times before. He slid the key into the shackle and heard the satisfying click of the lock what? releasing. They That's not how the lock picking works. Open. It was dark. Crates and containers stored everywhere. They were here for a specific crate, however, one with the label Wondertainment. Discontinued <laughs> item printed on the side. They went from aisle to aisle, searching with their flashlights for the crate. The second man called out, Over here! Hey, shut up, will ya? Keep your voice down. Yeah, yeah. Take a look at this. They stood in front of the container. Dr. Wondertainment. What kind of doctor you suppose that is? Does it matter? Open it. The man reached in and took one of the cans. Dr. Wondertainment's Ultralicious Chicken Noodle Soup for Kids. Well, this is some sort of joke. Okay. Who cares? Yeah. He has like 40 of these things. So grab them and let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, fine. They took they the kids like and made their way out. Yeah. So what do you reckon all this is about? Do I look like I care? Some guy said some hoopla about a sick kid in chicken soup. He hired us to steal some chicken soup for a sick kid. You know, these rich types. Must be some strong soup. Hey, don't get any bright ideas. Come on. He ain't gonna notice one missing can. I'm hungry. I said no. Listen, I took an extra can. There'll still be 40 for him. For real. Just for a can of soup. Come on, you want some? It's freaking cold! Suit yourself. Oh, Never mind. Ugh, this stuff over. is terrible. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Serves you right. The man hurried off to the bathroom. Hey! I don't feel so good. Serves you right, you moron. No, I mean, I really don't feel good. Something ain't right. <sighs> well, you suck it up. We need to get these delivered. Oh, man. Oh, man. What the hell's happening to me? Am I using this to skip the B class? Yep. Hey, dog. Jen? Um, how's, how's everything? Fine. Why do you ask? Oh, no reason. Okay, what happened? I can't remember anything after seeing that flattened guy. You two? I am drawing a total blank. Did we get amnesticized? Only one way to find out. Good afternoon, gentlemen. To what do I owe the honor of this visit? Um, this is gonna sound kind of weird, but did you amnesticize us? Why do you ask? I can't remember anything. I mean, I forget plenty of stuff, but this feels more than usual. You two came upon an info hazard. We did? Indeed. But don't worry, it's being handled. I've instigated procedures for containment and redacted what needed to be. So, you did anesthetize us. Never mind that for now. Kripke here took care of what needed to be taken care of. Chen. I believe you'll be getting a call in a moment. Best you head off with Kripke. I need to have a little chat with Kloss here. Follow me, sir. We've just had a tip-off. 
We have an MTF ready to raid a Marshall, Carter, and Dark warehouse. Well, that's one way to make me feel better. The van rolled up outside the warehouse, but they were too late. Whatever had been here was long gone. Well, this right. was eventful. Someone must have tipped them off, or that tip was very stale. Yes, sir. Well, let's go have a look anyway. The warehouse had been hastily cleared out. Some containers and boxes were left behind. Get a team in here to catalog and contain whatever's left behind. But be careful. Just because they left it doesn't mean it isn't dangerous. As he walked through the warehouse, he came upon an open crate. Inside it were cans. He heard a rustle under his foot. Beneath it was a piece of paper. It appeared to be a note to a man named Cyrus, explaining how to enter the warehouse and to recover something called Dr. Wondertainment's Ultralicious Chicken Noodle Soup. Hey, Kripke, have a look at this. He read the note. You think this could be right? I need to have a little chat it. with Kloss here. Follow me, sir. We've just had a tip off. A glitch we have an MTF ready to raid a Marshall Carter oh, Cyrus, explaining how to enter the warehouse and to recover something called Dr. Wondertainment's Ultralicious Chicken Noodle Soup. Hey, Kripke, have a look at this. He read the note. You think this could be related to the tip off? Not sure, but I'll check it out. Let's get back to HQ. Does that like well, more fast isn't this a lovely pace? surprise? No claws? Are you sure you want to speak to the big bad Pythia all by yourself? I knew I was going to regret this. Oh, you're right. That's okay. It is more fast-paced. Going Forget faster it. than I expected you. Yeah. Don't pout. I'm just teasing. What do you have there? Found this note in a warehouse you raided. Seems a bit sus. Can you have a look for me? Ask nicely. I thought I just did. For your standards, I suppose you did. Bring it forth. They were in a fancy apartment. A man sat in a chair, a tumbler in his hand. The shadows obscured his face. In front of him were two men. They appeared to be discussing a transaction of some sort. The man gestured to a picture on the table of a little girl and the same note Chen had found at the warehouse. He then put his hands to his face, as if crying. The two men looked at each other and grinned, then turned back to the man in the shadows. He slid a stack of cash across the table and shook the first man's hand. It appeared as if their business was completed. Well, that was odd. Thanks, Pythia. I need to talk to Kloss about a couple of guys. He left in a hurry, headed for Kloss. What? Hey, need your help. What is it? Did Kripke oh update God, you on the warehouse God. raid? Yep, sounds like a bust. It was, but I just spoke to Pythia, and I think we might have a lead on some of the missing items. I need you to do a facial recognition search for me. If my gut is right, there's a couple career criminals that should be in the database. Well, let's hop to it then. What? The database search had found matches for both men. On location at the first suspect's home, about to... What's that smell? Rotting... chicken? Let's find out. Uh... DoorDash. DoorDash? You, you know they need to actually, like order that they don't just show up with random food yeah yeah hello uh we have your order of sichuan takeaway oh geez could you like try a little harder fine how's this then <laughs> that explains the smell chen walked over to the body i thought his door thing was actually pretty smart yeah if the person wasn't dead. Morning, Doc. How's your dissection going? It's an autopsy. To be fair, it's kind of both. True. Anyway, this is your guy, the thief. Well, was a thief. He's more of, you know, uh, the Kentucky Fried variety. Chickenified. <laughs> yep. The soup. The soup. The soup. I mean, it's not anymore. much of a stretch when you have a yeah. can of chicken soup from Dr. Wondertainment and a guy who's partially turned into a chicken. 100%. Hang on. But this soup was from the man in the shadows with the sick kid. Yeah. 
and in the crate manifest there are a total of 144 cans of soup. We recovered 103 from the warehouse and one can from Colonel Sanders over there. 40 are missing. You don't think the buyer came and got his cans? From what you said, he did seem willing to do anything to save his daughter. What about the other thief? An MTF went to his home last night, empty, but we were able to break into Popeye here's phone. We have a GPS fix on a high-end apartment from a few days ago. The man in the shadows? Cyrus? That's my guess. Well, what are we waiting for? You ready? Go for it. DoorDash. Seriously? Trust me, I've got a plan. Sir, DoorDash, we have your order from Los Pollos Hermanos. Unbelievable. Come on, that was funny. Sir, police, please the open up. House. Boss, That actually sounds look. like a nice place to go to. You like chicken. I thought that had a nice food. God damn you. They enter the apartment. I actually believe Los Pollos Hermanos actually closed. Wait, that's an actual restaurant? Yeah, it was an actual restaurant. As far as I'm aware, Wait, it was. Why do I think it said home? Hermanos doesn't mean home. The hell it... Sorry, my brain. You're fine. Alright, we gotta go continue? Yeah. It was dim. Hello? No reply was forthcoming. You guys go ahead. The agents moved into the apartment, searching for anything. Doesn't seem like anyone's here. This case just seems to get stranger and stranger. Sir, we've got something. Behind the bookshelf, a sliver what? of light came through. What is that? Chen pulled the bookshelf aside, revealing a hidden room. A table and some shelves stood inside. Kloss approached the table. Do you see this? A bag of pulsating meat was on the table. Oh, is God that damn what it. I think it is? Sure looks like it. Take a look at this. Kloss oh, handed him a picture. My the God. The rebirther. And so this many failed experiments. Well automatically, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, Along the way, cow and man, an interesting but not very likely match. The time of man comes to a close. Soon enough. Oh yes, soon enough. Oh my god. SCP-2057. Object class, safe. 2057 is a set of 92 318 millimeter cans of condensed chicken noodle soup. Opening an instance of 2057 reveals that it is filled with condensed chicken broth and an egg-shaped mass made of 57 grams of egg noodles. Upon the adding water and heating mass. to 70 degrees Celsius. Huh? I said, yeah, one egg mass per can. Mm -hmm. The egg hatches, revealing a small, juvenile domesticated chicken composed entirely of egg noodles, carrot, celery, onion, and chicken breast. Known from this point as SCP-2057-1. As the broth continues to heat, the instance of 2057-1 will begin to move, vocalize in chirps, and consume the broth in which it was hatched. When the temperature of 2057-1 falls below 35 degrees Celsius, the instance ceases movement, falling over into the remaining broth, and quickly collapses into chicken noodle soup, typically ranging in temperature from 20 degrees Celsius to 34 degrees. Below 20 degrees Celsius, 2057-1 becomes congealed and gelatinous. When eaten at 35 to 70 degrees Celsius, test subjects describe the taste of 2057-1 to be excellent, delicious, and homey. 
test subjects suffering from There's illnesses such as called. influenza, measles, and yeah. the common cold report immediate alleviation of their symptoms. Test subjects consuming 2057-1 at temperatures between 10 to 34 degrees Celsius reported the taste as bland, disgusting, and repulsive. Test subjects suffering from illnesses such as influenza, measles, and the common cold reported immediate complications of their symptoms. Complications included development of pin feathers along the forearms, excess loose skin growth in the crown of the head and under the chin, and an extreme change in gait when walking. Consumption of reheated soup has been described as horrifying and inedible. Loss of coherency and deterioration of mental state resulting in death ensues. 93% of the subject's skin was covered in feathers. Physical changes in the face resulted in a beak-like alteration of the nose and mouth. Loose skin under the neck and on the top of the head resemble a wattle and comb. Outside of scheduled experiments, instances of 2057 are to be stored in a standard large volume storage container in containment area 27 at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. A good deal isn't always a good deal. If it seems too good to be true, be wary. It might be a great deal, but perhaps just not for you. As always, have a care and remember to subscribe, like, and I swear to fuck, the next one contains the rebirther. I'm just gonna point out what we both already know. Eating it cold is different than eating it microwaved. Eating it microwaved makes you change faster, and that's why people die like that. Because it's changing you so fast. Also, they removed basically all the characters for. Yeah. Added gore or violence? Or I don't, I don't know why they added so much violence. Deviates from the plot of the article. I think we both know what that number is. Only man in a video slash offensiveness. anything offensive, but I'd like to say this is the only video where Chen has been the most intelligent person. <laughs> you can't deny that, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, think how smart saying DoorDash it is. And everyone was fucking insulting him for, you know what, put like one or two for that at least. What the fuck is wrong with them? Mm. So what? There's some weird bias against Chen where they thought that was super stupid despite it being a very intelligent. Oh, 15%. Okay. <laughs> yeah.